if you're an arborist or a yachtsman or a tower worker, there are going to be occasions when you're want, going to want to uh, make yourself a little short tether that you can use to attach things to your saddle or to your boat so that you don't drop them out of trees or into the water, uh, things like tools, things like that. Uh, one way to do that is with a little tether that's made out of Dynaglide, which is a spectra material. Super strong, uh, very easy to splice, uh, like I have here. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. Okay, the tools you're going to need to do this splice is a, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of scissors. Um, you're going to want a number 8 knitting needle, a number 2 knitting needle. Uh, you're going to want a little piece of welding rod like this. I round off the ends so that they're real rounded and smooth so they are not going to catch on anything. You're going to want a big needle, like a big uh, sailmaker's needle. And you want a little wire fid like this. It's uh, made out of really fine wire. Uh, for the fids, I use uh, like picture frame wire or something like this, just some 22 gauge wire uh, that you can get at the hobby shop or a uh, hardware store. Okay. Um, to make this splice, I've cut a piece of Dynaglide. Um, it's 28 inches long in this case, uh, I, and I'm going to do a 4 inch berry. So at the ends here on both ends, I've marked off 4 inches to that first mark, okay? And then I'm going to do a 2 inch eye on each end. So I've measured, for a 2 inch eye, you want 4.5 inches of cord. So from those marks there to those marks there is 4.5 inches. So 4 inches and then 4.5 inches, okay? Okay, the first step in doing the splice is to taper the ends, okay? You go back to the first end and you kind of push the strands together so that it loosens everything up and they kind of pooch out like that. Just loosen up the end like that, okay? All right, then you take your big needle and you start pulling out strands starting about, about, about an inch and a half. Just take out about four or five strands. Just pull them out of there like that. You can just kind of work your way around the cord. It's not too critical which ones you pull. Just You want to get at least four or five because it makes it easier to pull the uh, end of the, of the cord back through when you start doing your berry. If they get give you any trouble, just take your pliers and use the pliers to pull on it. Like that. Okay. So there I've got four strands. We'll just cut those off with our scissors. Okay. And do the same on the opposite end. Go back over there, starting back about an inch and a half, loosen all the strands up. Take your needle and start pulling strands out. And once you get them all pulled out, just cut them off. Okay, so there are both ends all tapered and ready to go. Okay, first step uh, on the first Brummel, we're going to go back to that second mark right there. Okay, bunch up the rope a little bit, take your small knitting needle, your number two needle, and just push it through the middle, being Careful to get an equal number of strands on both sides. Okay, make a little hole like that. Then pull that out, take your big needle, shove it in the same hole, and enlarge the hole like that. Okay, now we're just going to take our end here and we're going to shove it through that hole that we created. Just like that. Whoop, pop them back out. Okay, 
and then we're going to pull that through like that until we see this mark come through there and we're going to take our knitting needle, our small needle, bunch up the strands a little, push your needle, knitting needle through the middle of the rope, being careful to get equal number of strands, make a little hole, take your other needle and make a bigger hole. Okay, then you're going to take this end here and you're going to shove it through that hole. Okay, like that. So that creates the first brummel, okay? Pull that down until it's tight, snug it down. Okay, all that's left to do now is to bury this tail inside there. Okay, to do that we go back about an inch and a half from there, bunch up the strands to make it loose, and then take our big needle and uh, shove the needle in there to start opening it up down through there. Okay, like that. Okay, pull the needle back out and take your welding rod and shove your welding rod in that hole. Okay, and just start pushing the welding rod down through there. Okay, and to do that you're just going to kind of push ahead of the rod with your thumb and index finger and just let it slide right on through, just like that. This is where that rounded end is really nice because it doesn't catch on any strands as you move down through there. Okay, push it on down until the welding rod is right in the throat of the splice, okay, right there. And then just push the welding rod out of there. Just kind of work it through until it comes out between the strands like that, okay? Then bunch all that up, hold it like that, pull the, the, uh, knitting, uh, the welding rod out and take your wire fit and shove it through there, okay? It'll just go right on through, okay? Then open up your fid down here, grab the tail in the fid, and pull it down until it's starting to go into that, into the, into the cord. Okay, if it gets tight like that, just push it back out a little bit. Take your knitting needle, shove it in there, and kind of open up the opening a little bit. And that way, it'll just pop right through there. See that? Okay. Once you pull it through, you take it out of your fid, pull it tight, grab this tail right here, and pull tight so it pulls that eye nice and tight, okay? And then you're just going to milk this down until it covers that tail, okay? So there's our first eye, okay? Now we're going to go over and do the eye on the other end, okay? It's the same procedure except this time we're going to do a McDonald Brummel since we can't push this big fat end through our opening. So to start a McDonald Brummel you go back to the second mark here up the rope. You loosen it up a little bit. Take your small knit, knit, knitting needle and shove it through the rope right there. Get an equal number of strands. Okay. You got a little hole now. Just take that. Shove in your bigger needle and enlarge the hole. Okay, just like that. Pull it back out, take your tail here, and shove it through that hole. Now in this case, you're going to pull this down until it's almost tight like that, but not quite, don't pull all the way through. Just leave a little, little eye like that, okay? Then you're going to go up here to the first mark, bunch it up a little to loosen up the strands, take your small knitting needle, Shove it through the middle of the cord with an equal number of strands on both sides. Make your hole, take your big knitting needle, shove it through there, make the hole even bigger. Okay? Then you're going to take this tail and shove it through that hole. Now this time you're going to pull it all the way through until the rope inverts itself. Okay? So you're just going to keep pulling until it pops through like that. Okay? Then you're going to take your knitting needle and you're going to shove it in that little hole right there that you created, okay? Kind of got to, there we go, okay? And then you're going to take your bigger knitting needle and enlarge the hole even more. Okay, like that. Then you're going to take your pliers and you're going to stick them through that hole, like that right there. And then you're going to use the pliers to spread that hole and make it bigger like that okay then you're just going to take 
Keep your pliers in there. Just pry the jaws open like that. Take this little thing, stick it in there, and grab it with the pliers like that. Okay, And then twist it sideways and pull it right on through that hole. Just like that. Pull it out. Like that. And then pull on the other end here to re-invert the rope to reorient. Okay, see how it pops back on itself? Now you've got your second brummel, and all you have to do is bury the tail, just like we did before. So you're going to go up here about an inch and a half. You're going to bunch it up. Take your needle. Stick it in there and get a, little, get a start on it. Okay. Then take your welding rod, stick it in the same hole, push it along there. Keep pushing on through. Okay, once you get over to the throat, do what you did before. Just bring that welding rod out through the strands like that. Okay, push it up, bunch it up. Grab it there, take your wire fid, shove it through there. Like that, okay. Spread open your wire fid here. Put the tail through the fid. Push it down until it starts to go through. Okay, if it gives you trouble, pull it back out a little bit. Take your knitting needle, enlarge the hole a little bit, and it'll go right on through. Okay, once it comes through, pull this down tight, okay, like that, pull it nice and snug, okay, then milk that cover back down over that tail like that, and there you've got your tether. So that's a very easy way to make a uh, short tether or a long tether if you want, uh, in Dynaglide uh, that you can use to attach equipment to uh, your belt or whatever you want.